When he was charged with false accounting last year, Jim Devine pleaded innocence and astonishment at the accusations. Uh, I referred myself to the police. and It was in the midst of the start of the uh, expenses for Oa. Am I seriously going to write a dodgy receipt at a time like that? Now he's serving out a 16-month jail sentence, having been found guilty of falsifying his expenses. He was convicted of fraudulently claiming more than £8,000. Journalist Harry Cole, whose work triggered the police investigation into Jim Devine's expenses, says the scandal is much larger than just one MP. Well, there was no, there's no denying that the, the last parliament um, from, from 2000, 2005 to 2010 was, was rotten. It will go down in history as one of the, uh, one of the most corrupt and, uh, and uh, well, one, one of the most embarrassing, humiliating um, governments. The anger was there. It, will, it, was, it was so widespread. The scandal was, it, it was going on for years. It was allowed to blossom. It was allowed to grow and grow and grow and grow. Devine is the third person so far to have been jailed for fiddling parliamentary expenses. With public spending being slashed, the economy still suffering from a recession and public services under threat, the British public have predictably reacted with fury to revelations that some of their representatives have been misusing taxpayers' money and even cheating the system. But why are the public so angry over this particular issue when the cost of the bank bailouts and the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan dwarf the money involved in the expenses scandal? When someone's on £25,000 a year and they see a vast amount of their, their pay packet go to uh, go every, every month, you know, they're losing, they're losing huge amounts of it in tax. When they see an MP, you know, putting his you know, kids on the payroll, uh, you know, having 400 quid a, a week uh, receipt free for food, it just, it, was, it just infuriates people. It was red rag to a ball and, and rightfully so. So the actual, the actual money itself was, you know, in terms of the grand scale of, of, of Britain's financial problems, is, is small fry. But it's a matter of principle. It's the trust. The trust we place in those politicians to represent us and to make the best choices for us has just been shattered. Perhaps further stoking that anger is the news that the rules governing MPs' expenses are to be relaxed after they were tightened in the wake of the scandal. Politicians will be given lump sums of cash up front and be able to use taxpayer-funded credit cards for their expenses. Meanwhile, Jim Devine's legal team say he could be out of prison in four months. Hasan Ghani, Press TV, London.